Hey guys, it's Friday. You know what that means. I'm back with another video. Um, this video is kind of going to be like a, um, like a day in life, kind of, sort of. Well, COVID day in life, kind of, sort of. And like a uh, question and answer session. So I have like a list of um, questions that you guys want answered. And I'm going to answer them um, at the end of this video. But um, it's currently... Um, Emma or T3, I have a free period right now, and I'm like kind of reading for the class I have for T4. I possibly did it last night, but um, here's my room, by the way. My roommate is has in-person class right now, and uh, to show you guys outside. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me to the library. I'm going there in like 10 minutes now, because I have an in-person class. T4. So I'm going to take you guys with me on the strips and then through the library and then to my classroom. So uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. actually make sure everything's straight in the room um uh, let's see let's make sure it's about to greet anyone okay no one's in the hallway so i don't have to greet okay
about 1500 now um i'm about to head out to practice in a bit as you can see there's not really much that goes on um i just you know wake up do some online school and then go to in-person class and then go to lunch um i was recording myself well, i thought i was recording myself going to class but it didn't record but um and i've got to record myself coming from lunch but um yeah i'm about to head to practice now i'm gonna get changed real quick and then uh i'm gonna take you guys with me see you in a bit all right guys um i'm heading to practice now um got the fit on got the boots because there's a kind of still some snow outside and i don't want to mess up my shoes but um yeah uh, i'm about to put y'all up on my chest right here and then i'll see you guys when i get down there
Hey guys, um, I just got back to my room and um, now it's time for the q and A. I I have like a Word document here of all the questions that um, I haven't answered in the comments. I only have one, two, mm, six questions. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try to answer the questions um, as thoroughly as possible. Um, there's no specific order I'm gonna answer the questions to. It's just like, I just like copy and paste it into comments and just put it into a, into a little notepad. All right, um, the first question. What degree are you majoring in and does it make any difference in your application offer? Um, your major doesn't matter. Like they don't ask you, I don't remember, I, when I was applying, I don't remember them asking me what major I want to major in or anything. And if, even if they did, it doesn't really affect, like, you know, like, if they would you know, give an appointment or not. Because, you know, a lot of people that come into the academy don't even know what they want to major in. So it doesn't really play a huge factor. Um, right now, I'm leaning towards um, systems engineering with a focus of human factors. Um, I'm... Not much of a math guy, but I like engineering and um, systems is the right way to go. It's like not too heavy on the math and not too heavy on the, you know, the theories and stuff. But it's still an engineering degree that, you know, it's not easy, but it's not as hard as the other engineering courses or degrees. Um, could you tell me about the suffer stipend and is it weekly or monthly? So um, the stipend or pay. Um, so the base pay for a cadet is $1,150. Wait, the base pay is $1,150, but you probably won't even see that much until like your senior year, because basically how it is, this is a free school, right? But you're paying for like your uniforms and stuff with the money they pay you, if that makes sense. Like, when you, when you first come in, like, you get a whole bunch of uniform items, like, a lot of uniform items, like, a lot of uniform items. And you pay for it with the money you don't have yet. So, basically, until, like, your junior year, you're in debt, and you're paying back money. And, like, they're kind of, like, a lot, some, a lot, some of the money that you're getting paid. Like, they don't just, like, take away your one your 1K every month. No, they would, like leave like about 500 four to five hundred dollars for you to like for your personal you know use or whatever so yeah the stipend realistically is like five hundred dollars forty five hundred dollars um so yeah um hey do we have a question how do you feel the morale is do you think next year will be better for an incoming freshman i heard that they're with no training it's hard do you recommend going um Um, I mean, <clears throat> I'm gonna answer the morale one first. Um, I mean, I guess, yeah, morale's pretty low because you know, COVID and we can't really do much and you know, and go out as much. Um, I probably went off base like I don't know, four times, maybe three, four times at that. So it's like, I mean, morale is pretty low, but like. There is things that, you know, we do to kind of, like, boost our morale. Like, this might sound weird, but, um, so, like, we make monkey noises. Like, we just yell out our windows make monkey noises. And it's, like, the biggest morale booster. Like, during finals week, it was great. Monkey noises, yes. Um, do you think next year will be better for incoming freshmen? Um, shoot. The fact that. The class twenty five is actually coming in this um this June. That's crazy. Um, I mean, hopefully, it will be different. But if I, I feel like it's probably gonna be just about the same as kind of our, our how our basic was and how our freshman years gonna kind of went because you know COVID is not gonna miraculously leave when the class twenty five gets here like. I'm pretty sure class 25, you guys are going to be wearing a mask, your whole basic also. And um, the PT cards, I feel like the PT cards, like, you know, the train, the PT cards are here to stay. But they are, they're now, they're finding ways around, like, you know, training us in a COVID-friendly way. So we're, we're, you guys are going to get trained. You guys are going to get 
trained. You guys are going to get trained. Just don't worry about that. You guys will be fine. And do you recommend going? I mean, shoot. If you get if you get an, um, an appointment, take it. True, like this is a opportunity of life, a opportunity of a lifetime. Ooh, computer went off. But yes, yeah, opportunity of a lifetime. Like this is it's great. If you get an appointment, take it. It's better to you know go through it, knowing oh it's not for me than you know not going through it and wondering oh was it could have could have could it have been for me? God dang, I can't talk. This this is why I was a preppy. Okay. All right. Um, he says you're the manager for the fencing team. Um, uh, out of curiosity, what does that mean exactly? I'd love to see a video about the fencing team. And if you're on a fencing team, um, which weapon do you fence? I just say, bear, your tan is beautiful. Um, so it's like you know being a well, football manager or basketball manager in high school you know it's just like i'm the fencing manager so I, um i like you know change towels you know like record whenever you get they have like tournaments and stuff or like you know make sure they have their equipment you know the uniforms things like that um i'm actually trying to learn well i learned a little bit of saber at the beginning of the year um i was thinking about um you know because I was, originally I wanted a fence. Like, I wanted to be a fencer, but this year I didn't have walk ons. So, um, um, my cadre was the, was the captain. So, he got me a gig as a manager. So, um, yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually learning. Well, I kind of learned a little bit of Sabre, but if I was to transition to, you know, fencing, like being a full time fencer, I would definitely pick Sabre. Um, and I included some videos of the uh, team bouting and stuff today. So hopefully that made you happy. Um, but I could like make a separate video, just like, you know, interviewing the freshmen on the team and stuff. Um, did you go to some seminar? Are you enjoying your experience? Can you give me an honest thought about my chances of getting in with this short blur, please? A first generation college student, first generation military officer, 1340 SAT. 100.9 GPA, consultation and track, student console and treasurer. Um, so first question, um, did I go to a summer seminar? Um, I did not. No, 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 no. I didn't, I, go, I didn't go to summer seminar. Um, the month or the, the summer of summer seminar, which is the summer leading to my senior year, I received a scholarship from the Air Force to go to, um, Virginia, um, Liberty University to get my private pilot's license. So I wasn't able to, I applied for the summer seminar, but I got rejected. And I, I told myself that the only reason why I got rejected is because the Air Force knows that I'm going to, you know, they, they're sending me somewhere else. So why would they give me an acceptance letter to the, to the um, summer seminar if they are literally paying me to go somewhere else that summer? Because that's somebody else's spot. So this is what I tell myself. So it makes him it makes him sleep at night. So yeah. Um are you enjoying your experience? Um, yes. Yeah. I don't tell anyone, but I low-key love it here. Well, not love, but I like it a lot. It's um it's it took a deal of getting used to, you know. Being a preppy coming here, it's kind of a different a different atmosphere, but like it's it's growing on me. The more you get used to it, like, you know, the you start like you start to forget about you know the petty freshman stuff you have to do, like it just becomes okay, you know, like just tough it out. So yes, I am enjoying my experience as of now, at least. Um, could you give your honest thoughts about my chance of getting in? Okay, so honestly, with your stats, like you're competitive. Like everyone who comments your stats and they ask me if like if they're competitive, like, bro, what all of all of you are competitive actually, because your stats are kind of better than mine. Like fourteen, thirteen, forty SAT. My SAT was like an eighteen, eleven eighty or something like that. I think. Yeah, my SAT was kind of trash. And shit, look at me. Um, a hundred point nine GPA. I don't know what that is, but I don't know how. I guess it's a four point one. Would I? Uh, yes, you're competitive, dude. You're you're good. You're good. 
Um, the cadets get to have phones on campus. Also, what's the car scene like? Are there any car clubs, groups, classes? Class 26 gang. Um, so, phone situation on campus. You can only have your phone really like um, from 4.45 until like 9 o'clock. Or until taps, you know. And after taps, you have to go turn in your phone. So, basically, turn in your phone and you get it. When the due day ends, even the seniors have to turn in their phones too. So like, you can't really have a, we can't have our phones on us at all until like you know four forty five until taps. So that's why like my videos come out late because you know I'm just got my phone. Um. So yeah, yeah, we can't even have our phones like that. I'm kidding. You're in college. Your phone is yours. Like they don't care. You have your phone wherever you want to, but you know, you can't walk. And talk on the phone like in uniform or whatever but phone is whatever what's the car scene like um i don't know because i i'm not really a car guy i'm pretty sure there's like a group there's probably something here it's like there's a whole um electric scooter riding group t club so there's something for you trust me um and last question how should we apply as a current college student? So, you apply the same way as you applied as a freshman or as an incoming freshman or while you're in high school, I mean. Nothing really changes. It's just like, you know, I think on the application page, you just go as a reapplicant and then um, you just like, just update your stats. If you took ACT again, if you took ACT again, if you, um, if you, yeah. This it's not that it's not hard, like it's it's not hard. And being a being in college already is kind of a an an advantage. I cannot talk. Oh my god, you're at an advantage because you can literally take the pro, your pro, pro, <sighs> Okay. I'm not gonna cross that out, so you guys can see that I'm actually stupid. But um, you can cross out your freshman prerequisites at another college as long as you get an A or like a a good enough, a very good grade, like an A, A minus, or whatever. You can validate the course, like um, like the guy who lives right there in front of me. He's a sophomore who's double majoring, but he has less classes than people who are single majoring because he was a med term back and then he went to college and took like calc one calc two and physics and all the prerequisites and it's easier to take it at a, at a regular college and taking it here so this is, i suggest you knock out your prerequisites like knock it out um that's all the questions that i haven't responded to yet in the comments um this is a pretty long video i think it's gonna hit like 20 minutes um I'm recording this at 19.50 um, Mountain Standard Time, which is like um, 9.50 Eastern Time. And I'm going to try to edit this in less than 30 minutes. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I tried to do a little, you know, day in life kind of, sort of. It's not really my thing. It's like more of Zoe's thing, if you know who Zoe is. Um, but if you guys want more of that, I will. I'll do more of that. I will try to, you know, get better a better camera or a better civilization, like better production, I guess. If you guys want that, just let me know in the comments. And um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll put my Instagram in the comments. If you got in the, um, in the description, if you guys want to DM me or hit me up or whatever, I do follow back. But um, yeah. Thanks you guys for supporting me. Thanks you guys for watching the video. Even at this far, you're an OG. You're a GOAT. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace out. Boom. <laughs>